Hi, I'm Jaron, and this is Life in Plastic, a channel that celebrates doll collecting. If you like dolls, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, and also hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our doll content. About a month ago, I unboxed dolls number three and four of the Barbie Extra line. And in this video, we are going to unbox the remainder of the dolls in the series so far. So in this video, we are going to unbox doll number one, doll number two, and let me just grab the other one, doll number five. All right, so one, two, and five. So let's get into it. Here is doll number one. She comes in this very nice box, very nice packaging. Uh, it says Barbie Extra in the front, and the extra is in holographic letters, uh, as we've seen before. Uh, and then there's this decorative star filled with uh, holographic glittery stars, which, you know, you, you can shake around and the stars will move, supposedly. So as you can see, there's an illustration of the doll in the lower right hand corner of the box uh, and also her pet, which is this adorable little poodle uh, that is wearing heels and sunglasses. All right, so even the pet is extra. And extra, of course, in this case means flamboyant and over the top. So, yep, she definitely looks over the top to me. Uh, with her rainbow faux fur coat uh, and those sparkly heeled boots. Everything about this doll is just so over the top. Uh, if we look at the back of the box, we will see another illustration of, of this doll uh, as well as illustrations of doll number two and doll number three. Uh, and all of the accessories that come with this doll. Uh, and then in the lower part of the back of the box, you have all the warnings uh, and more information about this doll. This was made in Indonesia. Yeah, it just says it is not for children under three years old. All right, so that is the packaging. Let's open it. The back of the box has some perforations uh, but I've already seen and experienced uh, trying to unbox these dolls uh, and the perforations simply do not do what they're supposed to do. Uh, the perforations don't make it any easier to open this box. So I'm going to use a box cutter uh, and some scissors and just tear into this box. All right, here is doll number one out of the box. She is quite lovely. I love her hairstyle. She's got these Afro puffs, two Afro puffs uh, with two sets of braids that run down the sides of her face. And they're very long braids. They run down to her thighs pretty much. So I love her facial screening. She's got these very full eyebrows and these uh, like a red, actually it's more like a coral lip, gold eyeshadow, all right? That accentuates her brown eyes. Uh, so it's very pretty, very nice facial screening. Uh, and the good thing about this doll is I am detecting very little, if any, pixel face. So that's good. Yeah, it's not like the uh, the Millie doll 
in this line, which had terrible pixel face. And she's wearing these chunky hoop earrings uh, and a necklace. Uh, and underneath this rainbow fur coat uh, is this kind of athletic outfit with a matching top and uh, short pants. Yeah. I don't know what you call this kind of athletic wear, but um, it says it says love on the band underneath the top and uh, at the waistband uh, of the the short pants, uh, and she's wearing these high heeled uh, boots with glitter all over them. Uh, and some socks with black stripes, white socks with black stripes. Okay, so she also comes with this cloud purse uh, and a an exaggerated gem forefinger ring. Okay, so it's like this gem that, uh, it's this gem ring that spans four of her fingers. Very cute. Very cute, I love it. Uh, I'm not gonna take the outfit off because we already did that for the other extra doll. Uh, so we know that these dolls have 11 points of articulation. Uh, they are articulated at the head, uh, at the shoulders, at the elbows, at the wrist, uh, at the hips, and at the knees. Okay, so the knees can bend. Uh, so they are somewhat poseable, uh, but they're not as poseable as, let's say, a made-to-move doll. So she also came with these sunglasses that say shine bright. Look, it looks like I'm wearing them. Ah, uh, yes, she came with these sunglasses that say shine bright. Uh, and let's see, let's put them on her. See how they look. So they're like these opaque glasses. It just says shine bright. It's really cool. Of course, she came with this pet poodle. Uh, and the pet poodle, I'm holding it by the tail. There's the tail. Uh, the pet poodle comes with these sunglasses and it's wearing heels. It's very extra. Uh, the pet poodle came with a little, its own little purse. Okay. Uh, and it came with these tiny little choking hazards. No, they're not choking hazards. Uh, they're so small, it's, you can't really choke on them, even if you were like under three years old, I would think. Uh, oops, the other one fell. And the pet poodle also came with these like tiny little bone treats. Okay, they're pink and they look like little bone treats. Uh, so I'm gonna store them in this little purse which opens up uh, that apparently belongs to the dog. Okay, moving on to doll number two. So here is doll number two. She is a very pastel, lovely girl. She comes in pretty much the same packaging with the illustration on the lower right hand corner barbie extra extra in the holographic print uh, she has a little diamond decorative diamond here filled with glittery stars uh, and she has the illustration in the back with her all her accessories uh, and doll number one and doll number three as well in there uh, and let's open this box. Okay, so here is doll number two out of the box. There she is. She is so lovely. Uh, so she has got um, interesting hair. Uh, first of all, her hair is like two colors, okay? One side is pink and the other side is kind of a 
purple or lavender. Yeah, pastel pink and purple. Uh, and her hair has tinsel in it. Uh, I'm not really a fan of that. I don't like tinsel and doll hair. Um, I think for some people it's, it's kind of nostalgic because there have been some other Barbie dolls uh, like in the 90s that have had tinsel in their hair. Uh, but yeah, for me it's not really something that I want in my dolls, tinsel in the hair. Uh, but that's fine. She's wearing this uh, neon green hat. It's like a beanie. Uh, which we're gonna remove because I'm not a fan of it either. Uh, she has, let's uh, take a look at her dress. She has this iridescent uh, ruffle dress on top of a uh, top that has puffy sleeves uh, and clouds printed on it. And then she's wearing multiple necklaces. She's got multiple necklaces uh, she's got these earrings uh, that are, um, they are an interesting earring mold that I don't think I've seen before, um, but they're kind of uh, translucent, the earrings. Uh, and then she has bracelets. She has like a full pearl bracelet on one hand and then on the other hand, on the right hand she has this purple thing that looks like it's supposed to be a scrunchie uh, and then she's holding a yellow green or neon green uh, gem purse which I think should open and close it looks like it does open and close uh, she's wearing white fishnet stockings and high top sneakers okay so this is doll number two. I do like her a lot. I just wish she didn't have tinsel in her hair. Uh, oh, let's talk about her makeup, her face screening. Uh, so she has very interesting face screening. Uh, it looks like she's got a mixture of pink and purple and like teal uh, and some yellow. Could that be yellow in there? Uh, it's just a mix of different eyeshadows. So yeah, and then her lip is very neutral. It's very, um, yeah, her lip is very neutral. <laughs> so she came with this pet dog. I don't know what kind of dog it is. It has an enormous head uh, and it is wearing a collar with a pendant that reads boss. Okay, so yeah, the dog is boss. Okay, so another thing worth noting about doll number two is that she is on a curvy body, just like doll number four. Uh, so I really do like how uh, inclusive this Barbie Extra line is by showing different body types, uh, as well as skin tones and hair textures. Uh, it's just very interesting to me. You know, I'm sure a lot of young girls are going to see themselves in some of these dolls, uh, which is wonderful. I almost forgot that doll number two came with these sunglasses. Yeah. So let's see what she looks like with the sunglasses on, shall we? So yeah, my sunglasses got a little warped uh, because of the way that I tried to pull them out of the box. But that's fine because I'm not a fan of the sunglasses anyway, so I'm not going to be using them. Uh, so moving on, let's go to doll number five. Doll number five. Okay, so here she is, doll number five. Very extra. Uh, same idea with the, the packaging. Uh, the, the illustration on the lower right hand corner. Uh, Barbie extra, the extra and holographic print. Uh, and up here we have the decorative sticker thingy uh, and it's a rainbow and it's filled with glittery stars. Uh, and then on the back of the box you have another illustration of doll number five uh, and all her accessories uh, and then the other dolls in the series. Okay, and it also says she has 15 styling pieces. 
Let's get her out of this box. Okay, so here is doll number five. She's so adorable, isn't she? Look at that rainbow hair that is in two sets of fishtail braids. Okay, look at that hair. Uh, and check out her fringe jacket. Wow, that is such a cool piece. Uh, this is gonna be fun to play with uh, and, you know, style other dolls with. I love the fringe jacket. Uh, she's wearing a, a top that says love. She's wearing a top that says love. She's wearing these short shorts, uh, neon green socks, uh, and these high-heeled boots. They look like work boots. Okay, they look like high-heeled construction boots actually. Um, so that's really cool. Uh, and then she's got, so, so let's look at her accessories. Uh, first of all, I should mention she came with these sunglasses. Uh, very simple black sunglasses. She also came with this little see-through purse. It's a translucent purse uh, that has a cell phone, a, a flip phone printed on it. And then she's wearing uh, some bracelets, all right, some bracelets, uh, these door knocker earrings, uh, and some necklaces as well. So I'm not gonna count, but I'm sure all of them uh, have the 15 styling pieces as promised. And she came with this pet dog that has its own little car. Okay, and the car can actually move. Um, the wheels turn, all right? <clears throat> and the car has the B logo in the back, which is nice. Yeah, so I think that of the three that I unboxed today, uh, number five, doll number five, this doll might be my favorite. Uh, I think she looks the prettiest, uh, you know, between the hair and this fringe jacket uh, and the boots. Uh, I am just in love with this doll. It is so pretty, so cute. Yeah? What do you guys think? Yeah, so let me know in the comments which of the Barbie extra dolls do you like the most? Uh, and we're gonna include the ones that I unboxed in the other video as well. So Barbie extra number one, two, three, four, and five. Which of these Barbie extra dolls do you like the most? and why so oh and <laughs> i mean i mentioned her fringe jacket but i didn't mention the flames that are printed onto this fringe jacket it's just really cool such a pretty doll with very nice screening as well uh, this one has a more of a neutral palette in her eyeshadow however her lips are uh, interesting, I think they're like plum colored lips, so that's nice. And she has nice and full eyebrows as well. I like that. Uh, so yeah, definitely a very pretty doll. All right, so now that we have unboxed all three of these Barbie extra dolls, it is time for me to give you my final thoughts on these dolls. So what do I think of the Barbie extra dolls? Well, I think they are very fun, very playful dolls that children are going to love. And even some adult collectors are going to enjoy some of the pieces uh, that these dolls have, like the fringe jacket on doll number five and the rainbow faux fur jacket on doll number one. Uh, these dolls are also very beautiful themselves and they're gonna be fun to redress as well. I've seen some people take the hair down on doll number five uh, and play with the, the hair on doll number one. I've seen people do very interesting things with the doll's hair. It's gonna be interesting to see what adult collectors do with these dolls. So overall, I'm very glad to have these dolls in my collection. 
Uh, they are going to be played with and they are going to be loved and adored uh, and photographed. Uh, by the way, if you are not following me on Instagram, my Instagram is at Life in Plastic Blog. Go ahead and do that. Follow me on Instagram. So yeah, these are just some fun dolls. I think Judy Choi did a wonderful job designing these dolls uh, because they are going to be such great uh, dolls to style and play with. For me, the pets are superfluous. I think they could have used the, the money that they spent on producing the pets to make the dolls even more glamorous and beautiful. Uh, but it is what it is. We got the pets. I think the, the kids must love the pets. Yeah. <laughs> If you enjoyed watching this video, please give me a like. And if you haven't done so yet, please do subscribe to the channel. Uh, hit that subscribe button and also hit the notification bell so that you get notified whenever we have new doll content up. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.